All right, anyone a fan of just taking all of the game actions? Because that's what this red black deck certainly does here. So sacrifice that here, play this card here, uh, play this. Now we'll go ahead and make a treasure here. Uh, we can play this one. We have the opportunity to sacrifice another creature. We can attack with something. So many options. Hello Daily Drafters, today is Wednesday, February 23rd, and thanks for joining me for today's Daily Draft. As we get into the content here, don't forget that we'd like to give a special shout out, and thank you to all those in the subscriber community for choosing to spend a part of your day here with me. And for those of you that aren't subscribed yet, go ahead and click that red subscribe button attached to this video. Remember, it's absolutely free, and it doesn't cost you a dime, and you'll then have access to the most high-quality limited MTG content on YouTube. Let's turn this losing streak around and get something going here today. Uh, it's been a rough couple of days, but today we'll flip that in our direction. So commons, we've got Geothermal Kami, which is good. Okiba Reckoner Raid is good. Voltage Surge is good. Mattress Rebuke is fine. Uh, do not like Iganjo Uprising. It gives your opponents things too. Um, Kitsune is good. Reactor is good in certain decks, but I don't want to take that this early. Um, I've been impressed by this on the other side of the battlefield, but I don't know exactly what deck it goes into necessarily. I think I want to start with Voltage Surge here. I wouldn't fault you for taking maybe Reckoner Raid or Surge. I think those are the, the two that it's between, but I want to start with the Removal Spell and Voltage Surge here. All right, then we see Invoke the Winds. So it's five mana gain control of target artifact or creature, untap it. It's really good. It requires a lot of blue, and we'd have to be very, very heavy blue to play this card. But if we look at the rest of this pack, all I see is Virus Beetle. There is a Sky Turtle, which is good. And there's Befriending the Moths, which could be good in some sorts of decks. But that's about it. So I don't know if we're losing out on much by taking Invoke the Winds here. I think it's between Invoke and Sky Turtle, to be honest. Um, Blue-Green Ramp can be pretty good, and Invoke, I think if we knew we were already blue, and very heavy blue, I think I'd take this. But because Sky Turtle can go in, uh, it goes specifically in green-blue, obviously, but Invoke the Winds not only has to go in blue, but it has to be a very heavy blue deck. So we'll hedge our bets here with Colossal Sky Turtle. And then we see Oni Cult Anvil. An early one is good to get it. I think if you get it early, you can help build your deck around this, which can go a long way. There's also the Modern Age for a Colossal Sky Turtle deck. There's Intercessor's Arrest, which puts us into a fourth color, which I don't think I want to do this early. So I think it's between Anvil and Modern Age. And I want to lean a little bit cheaper with Black Red, uh, you know, Volted Surge into Anvil, into a couple of Experimental Synthesizers could be a pretty good start to a draft here. So then we see Sokazan Smelter. Smelter. Two minute, two, two. At the beginning of combat, you can pay one sack an artifact to get a three one. That goes really well with Anvil because it turns all of your one ones into three ones um, every turn. Because once you sack that artifact, that 1-1, one, one, you get another one, and it becomes a 3-1. So that's pretty good. There's also Long Reach of Night, which I've been impressed with. But in a black-red deck, I think Smelter, Smelter could be pretty good. And if we can get another Anvil, then this can go a long way, right? And we're looking to wheel maybe Blade Blesser, but I don't think that'll come back as it's the only other red, a black card in this pack. And we do see Synthesizer here, so this is great. This is exactly what we're looking for. We want multiple copies of this in this side kind of deck because this also gets a lead sacrifice artifact trigger. You can sacrifice it to Anvil and still get the effect of it leaving the battlefield if we didn't want to pay three to get that Vigilance. Definitely very happy to see an experimental synthesizer here. And then we get another Anvil and we're kind of off to the races, right? So there's no other black cards, but there is an Anvil here pick six. So we're definitely going to take that. And I think we are moving in to black red. Uh, there's another Sky Turtle, but um, as far as black and red goes, not super excited about any of these cards. I guess I'll just, I mean, I guess we can take Debt to the Kami, but we're hoping to not have to play that. Um, 
Merge Keeper would have been good in blue green. So I think there was a way to go blue green here, but with double anvil synthesizer surge, I think we had to go down this route so far. Obviously, hindsight's 2020. We could have had a decent blue green start as well. But um, so let's see. If a creature died this turn, so the good thing is with double anvil, we have a way to make sure a creature died this turn. I don't usually like this card. Um, but with double anvil, we almost have an assured way to make a creature die. So I think Gravelighter can actually be pretty good in this deck. And now on the wheel, we get all the red and Bloodfell Caves back. Don't think we want Shakedown. I don't think we really want any of this. I mean, Kami of Industry is kind of cute with Experimental Synthesizer. There's also just Bloodfell Caves or Scrapyard Steelbreaker. I think I'm just going to take the land here, make our mana better. I don't think we're going to miss any of these cards, and we can probably get a copy of them at some point in this draft if we want it. Here we have the choice between these three. I guess we'll take You Are Already Dead, but again, I don't think that's necessarily something we're looking to do. We could Voltage Surge a large creature, and then You Are Already Dead it, and then we didn't two-for-one ourselves because we do draw a card off of it. Uh, we can block with one of these 1-1s one on their turn, and then... And then ping it down with this. So maybe this has some applications in this deck. Not exactly sure. Not super high on it so far. So I think this start to black red is better than Monday's start to black red so far. Especially with double anvil. Double anvil goes a long way. We lost a game yesterday to double anvil by itself. So uh, we're just looking for more synthesizers, more low curve drops, more commies, flares, voltage surges, you know, just a bunch of removal and then a way to grind them out and go, go into the late game with some artifact sack stuff. Explosive entry is a borderline playable card in this deck we can think about it if we run a little bit low on playables but hopefully we don't have to play it we'll just cut the red card here would love to get you know a, a rare or two in black and red to kind of boost the power level of the deck i think we're going to have a lot of good synergy with the deck but i'm not sure we're going to have the high power level with this start don't think I care about Shakedown, so I'll take Highlands in the case that we need to splash something green. Gosh, this blue-green deck seems wide open. I could take that to splash white, but maybe we, maybe we need to go into blue-green. I don't know. Invoke Despair. Huh. I don't know if we can be heavy black enough to do this. If there wasn't a long reach of night and a lethal exploit in this pack, I, I might consider taking it. Um, so basically this is like five mana, opponent sacks a creature and an enchantment and you draw a card. And they lose two life, which is pretty good. But there's lethal exploit. I don't think we're going to be able to take to play that. Long reach of night has been good as well, um, but I think I like exploit just a little bit better. So I'll take exploit as another cheap card here. So Shigeki is a pretty good one for green, but we're not that. Another Michiko's Reign of Truth. We've seen one of these almost every single draft, but it's not for us. So I think we're going to take a Bronze Plate Boar here over not much else. It's just a good 3-mana three 3-2 three, trample that can take over the game later. And oh my goodness, we get a third Anvil. I want Kami's Flare to obviously. I said I do. I would play a Simeon Sling. But with three Anvils, that's... Uh, talk about value um scrounger i think is what we're wanting here again we're trying to kind of stall out this game and then win through anvils i think is going to be our win con so yeah if we get all three of these out then we basically draining for three every turn and have two chunk two free chunk blockers every single turn so 
yeah, we're going to try to find these anvils. So we have a, a crag if we wanted to splash. There's also just a ninja's kunai, which I think we're going to take here. Um, so this can get a little cute if we gain control of target artifact creature with an anvil out. We can sacrifice it. Um, but I don't think that's really going to go super well. So we'll just take the ninja's kunai. It's another way to sacrifice an artifact without having to... Because to get the anvil going, you have to sacrifice your first non-construct artifact. And then you can start getting them. And kunai is another good way to do that. So the dockside chef goes really well with the anvil um, artifacts that we'd be getting. There's Mukutai Ambusher, but I don't think that's really for us. There's also Tawashi Song Shaper, but it's just going to be a 2-mana two 2-2 two -two that sometimes trades up if... If we allow it to, but it's not super great. Dockside Chef is pretty high upside in this deck, I think. Really want two or three more eggs here. And here's one. We'll take that one, absolutely. Definitely happy about that. Gosh, green-white seems to be wide open. Preserver, Naturalist, and to a lesser extent, Boundless Vigor. But we are happy to take Experimental Synthesizer here. Need some more removal... Need some more um, scroungers, maybe. Um, I think we can really stall out these games with Anvil and then try to win through the pings. Scrounger, I guess, is the only card we... Or, I mean, Steelbreaker is the only card we would play here. There's Containment Construct. Are we discarding anything? Not really. No. There's also Papercraft Decoy, which is an artifact we can sacrifice. So maybe that's just better, because it can be sacrificed to Anvil and draw a card, than Steelbreaker. Don't think I want any of these. So, I think this deck has a lot of potential here. Um, it's going to be a little bit hard to pilot, right? I think it needs a, a very experienced pilot to make this go work, and we'll see if I'm the right one for that. Um, but I do think this is kind of how Red Black should be built in this format. you got to build it around the anvils. Those are the most important parts. Because Red Black seems to want to go a little smaller, a little underneath. And if they get too big, you know, with a bunch of Tanukis and all that kind of stuff, even the Tanukis would probably beat this deck because we can't chump those. And we can't get rid of them. So... Need some more expensive removal. Return to action seems fine in this deck. We might be able to play a copy. And then all three of these came back. Guess we can take Kami of Industry. I don't think we're modifying a lot of things here. Don't even know if we'd play that though. We'll take this in the event that we need to splash white for some reason going forward. And Aki wrote it. Okay, last pack here. What can we find? And we find a great one in Hidetsugo Devouring Chaos. Four mana, four, four. You can pay a black to sack a creature and scry two. And you play two and a red and tap it to exile the top card. You can play it this turn. And if it's not land, it deals damage to any target equal to that card's mana value. Ecstatic to take Hidetsugo here. And then that's the card we were looking for to really take this deck to the next level. Would love to wheel Smelter, but I don't know if that'll happen. But we are absolutely slamming Hidetsugo and being totally fine with that. And now we have a couple really good options in Flame Discharge, Reckoner Raid, Twisted Embrace. I think I want my first copy of Twisted Embrace. It helps out Lethal Exploit a little bit. Um, Flame Discharge is also just really good. But Reckoner Raid is also very good. But I think this deck needs removal. And this is catch-all removal that we could really, really use. Alright, so Clawing Torment, Trash Bot, and Iron Hoof Boar. I think we'll take the Boar as a top end or a combat trick. Don't think we want either of these in the Trash Bot. We have nine artifacts, two enchantments, but our artifacts aren't really planning to go to the graveyard, especially like the anvils. They're going to stay in the battlefield, so... I think we'll just take the boar here. 
which makes Kami worse. Like, what is Kami good with? Double synthesizer? Uh, Ninja's Kunai is pretty good with. Anvil, if that for some reason dies. Papercraft decoy is fine. Here's another experimental synthesizer. What does this one do? Two mana, four, three. Uh, whenever it attacks, you may sack another artifact or creature. If you do put a one-one counter on it, it gains menace. That's pretty good. But <clears throat> I think this deck is looking for synthesizers. This is exactly what this deck is looking for with all these cheap creatures and stuff. Um, there's also a lethal exploit, which would be great. But I think we need the synthesizer here. So there's a smelter. Um, they don't get better in multiples because... Well, they could if you have multiple artifacts you want to sacrifice. There's also just a scrounger here. I don't know which is correct, but I think I'm going to take this smelter over that scrounger. Because of our triple uh, experimental synthesizer, we want to cut down on our expensive cards a lot. So I don't even know if Iron Boar is going to make the cut here, but let's get to the end and see. There's Inkrise Infiltrator, but I don't think that's what this deck is trying to do. There's Naomi, and we do have a Windscarred Crag. But we only have two enchantments, so it's not going to actually be that great of a splash. Let's just take the Infiltrator, put it in the sideboard for now. I think I do actually want to cut this boar now that we have three synthesizers. We don't want to be playing this and then sacrificing, sacrificing it and not being able to play that second card. So... Take Dockside Chef here as another one. Just more value. We're going to be churning through our deck for cards here. Alright, so I think this time we can take Okiba Reckoner Raid. The first copy of it seems pretty good. Again, it's just a 1 mana 2-2 two, two Menace that drains them for 2. It takes a couple turns, but it's effectively what it is. Don't think we're going to want You Are Already Dead. So the Smelter did come back. Now we have three of them. So we have three Smelter, three Anvil, which if we get that combo going, it's going to be very good. Don't think we need to main... Why did it do that? We don't need to main Explosive Entry. We may not need to main Return to Action. There's another boar. I think we just put that one in the sideboard. Don't think we need to main deck. Return to action. We're going to have to add a couple cards back, but I'm just taking out the first couple of cuts here. I think I like everything else, though. So we're good with what we've got left. Um, nope. So we'll need to add two cards back. Yeah, I don't think we're playing either of these. Alright, so we'll have to add two cards back, but that should be okay. Alright, so I do want to keep 17 lands with this deck, I, I think, because of the three of these. We want to be able to have enough lands to play everything off of this, right? Um, Hidetsuko's not at its best here because the top cards are going to be a lot of ones and two drops, but it's still just an insane card. We're going to keep it. Um, we can look for, I mean, what's our creature count? 10? It's not great. Could just play just a random 2-mana 1-3 that blocks well enough. I don't think we want the 5-mana card. Return to action's not great. I think Infiltrator is a fine enough 2-drop to put in here. Um, so now we're looking at Aki Ronin and maybe Return to Action. Or in You Are Already Dead, maybe. But we have enough card draw. We don't really need this. So I guess we'll just play this random two drop as a good blocker early to help us get to these shenanigans that'll happen. So, all right, so this deck looks to be pretty fun. Don't know exactly how powerful it is. It's gonna need a little bit of help piloting it again, like I said earlier, but it's got a lot of potential to do a lot of fun things. Can really go in circles 
and hopefully this one performs better than the last two here. So, um, yeah, I guess we'll keep this. Don't want to play this on one, obviously. We could play it on two with the amount of two, one and two drops we have. There's another land. Let's play this, see if we can hit a another land. That's a decent hit there. We can still play that. So that's why, this is why you want to play with a bunch of cheap creatures and cheap cards in your deck. Because we can actually get the card off of that, even on turn two. So, again, we cannot play this next turn. Well, maybe we shouldn't be playing 17 lands. But we cannot play this because uh, we would have to sack it. <laughs> Can't, don't want to do that. We'd have to sack it on an empty board. So... But there is a good mana sink in Hidetsugo, so I think we're going to be able to use all of our mana most turns. We just didn't get off to a great start with it, is all. Okay, so they're holding up potential counterspell mana that I do not want to play into. So I'm just going to play Papercraft Decoy. I don't want them to counter... Hit it, Sugo here. And I'm not going to equip because if this leaves the battlefield before the next turn, we can pay two and draw a card. So I'm just going to let it go. And they did get priority when we cast this, so there is a very good chance they have a counter spell. Futurist Operative, okay. So we can equip and kill and play gra Grave Lighter because it would have died. So if we quip, yeah. So let's do that. We'll kill both of their creatures that way. Otherwise, each player sacks a creature. So let's see. So when this enters the battlefield, draw a card if a creature died this turn. Otherwise, each player sacks a creature. So if we do this, and we sack this, we draw a card, they would sack one of these. Um, or we can just equip, kill this, play this, draw a card. I think I like that a little bit better. Let's equip here. And then kill this. And then draw a card. Another land. Okay. Are they going to use it to ninjutsu something in? Hopefully it's not the 5-5. Five five. A Moon Circuit Hacker, okay? So they will hit us for two and draw a card. And play it back. Alright. Oh look. Yet another land. Um I think we can if we do this now, we can cast basically anything in our deck, and the next turn we can go both of these. So let's do this and then we find the anvil so there's the anvil so we can sacrifice this we can do this next turn to get that that card draw in and then start the chain of getting a bunch of one ones that we can keep sacrificing Um, I think we can go ahead and block here, but we can't block this one, so let's see if they want to ninjutsu something else. Oh, they're just going to pay three mana to hit us for two more. Okay, it's fine. Alright. So let's sacrifice this to start. Pay two. Draw that card. Hit another land. Drain for one. I don't think we can play this into open mana anymore, so we'll just hit them here, and then I think we can play this and see what they want to do about this one. Okay, I'll let that resolve. Okay. Got a lot of cards over there. Mirror Shell Crab, alright.
So... Whenever one or more artifacts you control leave the battlefield on your turn, you create one. So what we can do here is go one, two, three, um, four. Play Hidetsugo. Sacrifice this artifact to get another one. I know we don't get the drain, but we do get to scry two. And I think we do want Synthesizer. Um, then we can just play one of these creatures here. Get a treasure. Doesn't have reach, does it? No, okay. So let's just play... Hmm. Guess we'll just play the boar here. I don't even know if we need this treasure. But we're not going to block this. So I think we may as well. We could also do this to sacrifice the treasure next turn to get two 1-1s. One okay. And then we'll start getting chump blockers for the crab. Deck is super sweet so far. It's done basically exactly what I wanted it to. So I think we'll take five if they hit us with the crab. Because we don't want to sack this now because we won't get the one one. Um so we'll just we'll just take the five. They're going to kill Hidetsugo. They probably should. They can. Yep, they will. Alright. So... We can sacrifice it to itself. To scry to, but we kind of already have a card we want. So this is just going to have to die here now. And then we'll go to my turn, play the Synthesizer, see what we find. Play the land. Don't want to sacrifice it in case we find another land. So now we can do this on here. And then we can start getting free chump blocks. And, you know, maybe they kill this, but I think I'd like to try to reconfigure it. Maybe they capture Sphere or uh, Tamiyo's completion on it. Definitely going to do something to it. Okay, okay. Um, so we can sacrifice one. But we've already sacrificed this turn for Anvil, so I don't think we want to do that right now. Uh, no attacks here. Okay, so... Can't block the operative, obviously. And I don't really want to take seven. I think I might just jump here. Well, if we jump here, next turn we can sacrifice this one, make another one. Yeah, so we'll just jump here. Okay. So as long as they want to keep pumping that, we're on a two-turn clock here. We can gain a couple life. Long reach of night. 
All right, so we will discard a card. Because we don't need our 16,000th land here. Dockside Chef. Let's see what we find here first. Lethal Exploit. That's a bit awkward. So we currently have one modified creature. Is there any way we can modify something else? Don't think so. It's a bit awkward. Um, so let's just play the chef here. And then we can use the chef to draw some cards. Let's see. So, yeah, this is what I was talking about. It needs some some expert piloting. So you can sacrifice an artifact to deal one damage to any opponent and gain a life. We've already got the trigger for this one this turn, so we don't want to do it right now. We can block here and then sacrifice it to get that chump value. Um, we can also just do this on the treasure right now to just draw a card. And then we have the chef scrounger combo going. There's an extra land. We'll just play it. And then... Pay one sack an artifact. I don't think we need to do that. And no attacks here. So, yeah, this one just deals minus three, minus three. Which does not kill anything, so we gotta get rid of it. Um, I think we can sacrifice... Probably just this random 2-2 two -two here. We want to keep these two around to make sure we can have this combo going. Okay. Pass to blockers, block here. Now we can either drain or we can draw. And I think we need to drain to make sure that this... Um, What's it called? This thing can't kill us next turn. Because we can also just draw from this now. So they get an 04 Menace next turn. That's going to attack as a 2 4 Menace? All right. This is untapping now. Ideally, if they let it. So let's get that card now. Pretty good draw there. We could just do that now. Uh, no sacrifice an artifact. Now they get to sacrifice it to itself to draw a card, but we would like to get rid of it. Infiltrator. All right. So let's see if they want to do anything about Grave Lighter here. Okay. We'll do this combo again. Do this, draw a card. Another anvil. Another infiltrator. And end the turn. So we can drain them for two. 
Drain them for two or one? Not exactly sure. But we've got outs here, I think. Yeah, so sack an artifact to deal one damage to each opponent, you gain a life. So I think that only happens once you sack this one. I'm not sure it drains for two. Deck is a little bit of a headache, <laughs> but it's fun. It's certainly unique. Gain control of target artifact or creature, untap it. Interesting. So we can sacrifice it now in response so they don't get it. So what we could do is we can tap this, sacrifice this, and sacrifice that to draw a card. So let's do that. So we'll drain them for one here. And then we'll sacrifice it so they don't get it. And it resolves. And then we win. Awesome. Lots of value going on with sacrificing everything all the time. Alright, really good start here. Chef into Anvil. Arm guard familiar, okay. So we could go smelter. Anvil doesn't really do anything right now. Um, why don't we just start with the 2-2 two -two here? Because Anvil is not necessarily doing anything just yet. And I think it might be fine just trading this Smelter off for the Familiar if they want to offer that trade. Prodigy's Prototype. Okay. We'll keep drawing lands here. Um, Grave Lighter. So we can offer this trade and then if they take it, we'll draw a card. If not, we can just play Anvil post-combat, I guess. Although we don't want to now because they can crew it. Good thing I saw that one. So no attacks. And then I guess we'll just get Anvil down. Alright, so they can get themselves a pilot here, but we can't do much about that. So no blocks. Hopefully they don't have other insane vehicles. It's not insane, but it's a good one. Another smelter, smelter doesn't really do it. Kind of need that first artifact to get this going. Um, we can just play Gravelighter, sacrifice this. They would sacrifice their pilot, um, but it at least blocks the Dragonfly suit, which is important so that we don't keep taking three over and over again. So I think we might have to do that. I do not want to. Let's get in there with this one. Mm. 
Next turn, we could also just, like, if we play this now, next turn we can sacrifice one of them, draw a card, play Gravelighter, draw another card. And that might just be better. Than trading a pilot for a smelter. So I'm just going to do that. We are going to have to take six this turn, though, and I don't like doing that. We've already got six lands in hands, and we're not really drawing our combos. We're just... Okay. Is that the one that turns into 3-4 Vigilance? Yeah. Alright. Okay. Probably going to crew that one as well. Yep. Get another pilot. Yep. Alright. Oh, looky. Looky what it is. It's another land. Okay, so. Play this one. Uh, we'll have to get in with both of these. Sacrifice it after combat. Play this. Don't want to do either of these. I could actually just get in with all of them, now that they can't crew. Okay, go to damage. One, two. Sack this, draw a card. And then do this, draw another card. And that at least threatens a block on the dragonfly suit. If they get rid of this, though, then things are not looking great. Third smelter. Okay. Smelter. I keep saying smelter. I don't know why. We get to reanimate Era of Enlightenment here. Double top, don't like to see that. Please don't remove Grave Lighter. Because if you do, I think we are dead. Okay. Exile target enchantment. Can't do anything about that. And then they get a hit us for three. Okay, so at least it's three. And not any more than that. Reckoner Raid. Okay, so we can kind of just dump our hand here, basically. Infiltrator. Smelter and then Reckoner Raid. And then hope we stabilize. Do not want to do either of those. Yeah, I think if you're going to play vehicles in this format, know that your opponents get a little annoyed when the only thing you have available is to crew a vehicle, and you just sit here and let just triggers sit on the stack for five minutes. Like, they have nothing to do except crew this vehicle, and it's not going to do anything at this point. So just auto-pass until I attack. So, come on. Or be ready to hit resolve as much as you're willing to. So they double topped here. And that's probably uh, going to kill us. <laughs> Jeez. 
card's very good as well. Okay, we're gonna have to take another three. Maybe another six. Can we afford to take six? Eight? No, we can't afford to take eight, that's for sure. Okay, so let's go to blockers. Definitely have to block here and here. Um, we take five like this? I know. We need to keep this around to block that. This is going to turn around. This is going to be a two, three, four next turn that can attack. Yeah, I don't like jumping, but didn't really have much of a choice. Can't really go too low here. They have enough creatures. Oh my word. How many times? I mean, we're playing 17 lands for a reason, but like, come on. We have like three synthesizers in the deck we could use all this mana with, but we just keep drawing more and more lands. So what does this even do? We have to take three, we block here, we chump there, we chump here and take exactly, I don't know, It's I think we're dead. We're two topped as well, so I'm sure we, we have no way to get out of this, yeah. Alright, well, we didn't draw a single artifact in our deck to use with the anvil, so uh, yeah, just, I'll blame the deck on that one. Eh, it's not great, but we'll be on the draw for the third straight game here. Top deck, another land. You know, what's new? At least we have a couple two drops. We can remove something at some point. Oh, look. What a surprise. Let's play Aki Ronin. In case they don't play a three drop, we can at least attack with it. Okay, so we will get to get rid of one of these lands, which is nice. Traitor. So we'll attack. We will discard a card. Grave Lighter. No creature has died, so we don't want to play that, obviously. Um, let's go ahead and just play Smelter here. So they'll kill that one. Synthesizer. So we could go land, embrace here, kill that, attack, discard the other one, but they have open mana here, and I think that's a little risky. I don't like to go with embrace into open mana. 
So if we play Synthesizer and flip Hitotsugo, we can't cast it this turn. Um, which would be awful. Uh, so I'm, I think I'm gonna have to go for the Twist and Embrace line. Um, and really hope they don't blow it out here. Okay, good. And then we can attack and discard another mountain. To draw a mountain. <laughs> it's alright. Next turn we'll be able to go Synthesizer into, into whatever. Okay, I don't really like to see that. Let's see if they tap this down or something so we can't attack with it. We'll get rid of that mountain again, draw a swamp. Okay, that's fine. And then we can go synthesizer, see what we find here. Anvil. So we'll play this land and play the Anvil. And then... And then we'll just play our Flyer here. Be mana efficient. And end the turn. Could have sacrificed the Synthesizer, but when this leaves the battlefield, we get another trigger off of it, so we can do that next turn. We just don't get the 2-2 is all. But we want to get this combo going with the 1-1. Some sort of ninjutsu creature. Hopefully it's not an insane one. It's not insane, but it is pretty good. Found that land, and then Mind Link Mech. Alright, so it kind of takes on whatever was crewed there. So we can sacrifice this, get the 1-1, play something off of it here. Let's get that start going. Play that land. And then... I don't know if we want to discard any of these. What we can do is play Kunai, put it on this, tap it, kill the circuit hacker, play Gravelighter, draw a card. That's a lot of value there. Uh, we might want to... But if we if we put Kunai on the battlefield, they're going to see it coming and won't crew the mech anymore. I might rather just kill their flyer, so I don't think I want to take that line just yet. And I don't think I want to discard any of these cards if we attack with Ronin here. Um... So actually attack, we'll decline to discard, we'll hit them, we'll play Kunai, we'll play Chef, and we'll equip this to Chef. And then we could do this, sacrifice these, but again we want to keep this one around to do the loops. 
with the anvil, especially if we draw another one. And I think we want to use the kunai to kill the modern age, or the, 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 bang, the thing on the back side of that. Okay, so they can hit us for four. That also rummages. But this will be about the last turn they can do that as long as we have kunai mana up. Oh, I see. So they're going to get our Grave Lighter here. And we're not going to be able to do anything about that. So it is what it is. Don't like to see that, but oh well. And then Mind Link Mech as well. And on to my turn. Do we want to keep this in hand? Yeah, probably so. Seems fine enough. So we'll go ahead and start this going. Then we'll play Bronze Plate Boar. And we can attack with Aki Ronin, but... I mean, yeah, we're kind of on the aggro here. We can do that. Seems good enough. And then we, we can hold up the ninja, or the, uh, the kunai to kill something here. Let's see what they want to bounce. Is it going to be the artifact? The chef. That makes sense. Huh. So do we want to use the blade? This is Menace, right? Not anymore. So they can crew this with the hacker to loot again. Um, I don't think we want to use the blade to kill any of this. Or sacrifice anything. So we'll let that happen. And I think we're fine just trading here if they offer that. Okay, so they didn't. So I'll have to take four again, and they'll get to loot. We want to try to save this to kill the Mind Link mech. Getting rid of Twisted Embrace. Oh, the reality chip, okay. Interesting. So whenever more artifacts you control leave the battlefield during your turn, create a 1-1. One, one. So we can do this, sacrifice this to create the 1-1 one, one to kill the reality chip. And I think that's what we're going to have to do here. So let's sacrifice the artifact to deal 4 to it. And then we'll play Chef. 
And then we can equip this here. I don't think we need to attack anymore. They can keep hitting us for two. But we have a lot of ways to get out of that. And the anvil is going to be gaining us a life pretty much every turn. Plus this isn't even a good attack. So I think we're just going to have to pass here. So if I think I think if they animate this, we're just gonna shoot it down with the boar or with the kunai. Looks like they're not. They're just gonna hit us for two. Okay. Grave lighter. So we each have to sacrifice a creature. Interesting. They're sacrificing Moon Circuit Hacker, and they have another Flyer. So if we sacrifice this, we can't do the loops anymore unless we got rid of the Kunai. Do we just get rid of Aki Ronin at this point? Aki Ronin's kind of holding back their board. Um, could get rid of the boar? But we are going to have to find an answer to these Flyers here. I think we have to get rid of the boar here. Okay. That's the exact opposite of what we needed to see off the top. So let's put this on Dockside Chef here. And then we can do this again. Drain them. And then we'll just play that because we might eventually need more mana to do this and all kinds of experimental synthesizer related things. So, might have to just take four this turn again. This is the one that's the main problem. Okay, of course we hit another land. Oh my gosh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten lands already. So we have seven in our last 18. Maybe we can go to 16 in this deck. I mentioned we need 17 to do a lot of stuff, but like... I don't know. All of our creatures and stuff are 1, 2, and 3 drops, and the synthesizer is really the only thing that needs a bunch of mana. And it seems like we just seem to have enough most of the time. Okay, so let's see what we can find. Sure. Hopefully we don't find another land off of this. It is something, but I don't know how good it's going to be. So we're probably going to have to use this kunai to kill one of these next turn. Um... We can't get another 1-1 one, one yet, so we can use this to draw a card. 
We don't have good attacks. We would have good attacks if we, we did this. So we pay one to sacrifice an artifact. So we have to sacrifice one of these, but that wouldn't get us the drain. And I think we need the drain more. Although a 3-1 attacker with haste is pretty good. Um, It doesn't let us hold up Jockside Chef activation if we need to do that. It would let us hold up Ninja's Kunai though. It could trade for the Specialist. Yeah, I think it's fine to get that 3-1 and then get in there. Okay. And we get to keep it around for next turn, which is good. So let's see how they want to play this here. I think this game's coming to a head very quickly. So we'll obviously have to shoot it down if they crew it. So they didn't crew it. We'll pass to attackers. And then I think we're going to have to shoot down the vector glider here. So let's go ahead and kill that, or at least attempt to. I don't think they can ninjutsu something right now because blockers haven't, and we haven't gone to the blocker step yet, so. Alright, that works. Can they ninjutsu something here? Yes, they're gonna gain some life. Okay, so we go to three. And they go to nine. We're dead to this next turn if we don't sacrifice now. I think we have to sacrifice now. Okay. They draw a card, which is not good. Okay, so I think we have to sacrifice this now, so that we're not dead. Well, no, we're dead either way, because no matter what, they're going to be able to attack with this and accrued that. So let's hope we don't draw a land. So we draw a land. Um, so we have to win this turn somehow. I don't know how, but... Uh, we do Oni Cult Anvil, sacrifice this one, sacrifice it to get another 3-1 attack with everything, draw some cards. So let's, I don't know, let's just kind of go for it. So we'll drain them for one. We will go to combat. We will sacrifice this. And then just attack with everything. And whatever won't get through, we can sacrifice to draw cards and see if we can use it to survive.
I think we can hit them for at least five. Okay. So we will definitely sacrifice the smelter here. Or the, uh, the Vigilant Samurai. Oh my word. Okay. Three. I think we can get rid of the anvil now. Because we're desperate. That's not really going to do it at all. So we'll sacrifice this one. And at this point, I think we're just dead. Oh my gosh. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12... 13, 14, 15. We have two lands in our last 11 cards. I mean, look, <laughs> want to see if it's on top? Let's check. No, okay. All right, I'm going to 16 lands. I don't care what you say. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. What am I missing? <laughs> All right, so we'll be on the draw for the fourth straight game here today. And then we'll keep this hand. I did go ahead and cut a land for, um, what's it called? Uh, the lifelink trick, plus one plus oh lifelink, and it comes back to the battlefield. So we'll see if that um, ends up paying off for us or not. Deals one to target player and planeswalker. Okay, so we can do Bloodveil Caves, get Anvil going a little bit here. Could also just do Grave Lighter, sacrifice this to that. I think that might just be better. Yeah, so let's hit them first. And then we'll just make each player sacrifice. And that's fine. Oh, they're playing shrines here, are they? Alright. So let's go synthesizer to start. Um, that at least opens up an attack for us, but isn't great. So we'll attack. Are you serious? Okay. Well, then we'll kill it. That worked out. <laughs> Could have made it just burn that card, but apparently not. Got rid of both of their shrines already, so hopefully that's the majority of their deck, if that's what they're going for. If they're going for the whole shrine thing. Unstoppable Ogre. Alright. Another Anvil. Huh. How do we want to play this? So we could just trade here. I'm, I think I'm fine doing that. Um, we can play Anvil, sacrifice this, and see if we hit something off of it. And then next turn we can do Anvil and then start to go to town. So let's see if we hit like a land off of this. There's the land. So we can play that. Then we can do Boar, I guess. Uh, we don't want to play this one. We already played a land, so... We haven't... We did sacrifice. So we already got this. We already got, already got that trigger. So let's just be mana efficient and play the boar here. And... Um, yep. I'll attack because I'm fine trading boar for this as well. It's just a 3 mana 3-2 three, we can trade off. We'll keep this one around because with double anvil we can start doing the loops.
not bothered by that yet. Okay. Let's see, do we want to go synthesizer first? I think we do. Get that land. So we have five, so we can go anvil plus scrounger. So we'll go anvil, scrounger, get this one, get two more, and now we're off to the races. We get a, this has trample, so we can't really block there with this, but we get a free chump block on anything that we want. They are playing shrines. All right. Okay. Oh, so many different options here. Um, I could just play Hit It Sugo and then hope it survives and keep going. I can also play Dockside Chef. Let's start by doing this. Yeah, let's just play Hit It Sugo. Why not? Yeah, we'll get a treasure. We'll play Dockside Chef. We'll keep going, we'll attack. Yeah, we have all of the things to do here. <laughs> so many decisions with this deck. This this deck is not for the weary. If you're a, if you're a new player, um this get deck can be very hard to navigate, but it's very fun if you're experienced and looking for a challenge. Alright, so we actually get to go first this time. We need black mana, obviously, but we have a removal spell and a two drop, so we can keep this. Okay, don't like seeing black cards. Selfless Samurai, all right. And then we do have that one. So, I'm fine trading here. I'm sure they won't though. So we can play Chef and then kill it now. May as well just do this now. I mean, they're in white. So, submit zero. We could have waited on that, I suppose, and then Grave Lighter do Voltage Surge, Grave Lighter next turn. I think that might have been better. Um, yeah, I think it definitely was. <clears throat> but we still have a good... Like, if they play any creature, then we can trade, like, Smelter for that creature using Grave Lighter. Like... Moon Circuit Hacker here. I mean, we'll just keep drawing lands in our 16 land deck, though. So, let's see if they want to make this trade. I doubt they do. Oh, okay. Sure. Now that means we get to draw a card. Fine by me. Oh, my word. Okay. Go ahead. I 
eight lands in our top 12. So we've already got halfway through our deck on lands. So we're good on that. Don't need any more of those. Behold the Unspeakable is going to be basically impossible to beat here going forward. So let's do Synthesizer. Play Aki Ronin. And we don't want to sacrifice it because we want to be able to play the backside as well. So I don't know how we're going to beat like a 7-7 seven, seven flying trample um, that's going to come off the backside of this. Or even a 3-3 three, three flyer. So, in a bit of trouble. What do we find? Hit it, Sugo. Okay, we can at least cast it. And hopefully it survives. Six, six, flying trample. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Maybe this is the best uncommon in the format. I think it might be. I think it's even better than Michiko's Reign of Truth. Alright, so they'll kill Hidetsugo, and it looks like we're going to get out of this draft here with a 2-3. Um, I mean, they'll see this coming, so they're not going to... Um, never do anything about this. We need to kill this pretty desperately. Uh, let's put it... I guess we'll just put it here. And then we can attack because we're fine trading the ninja's kunai for the vision. So we'll decline there. Then we can attack here and here. Try to push some damage through. Oh, really? Sure. Never mind. All right. They get it back, and they get the first chapter back. <laughs> okay. So we can sacrifice Hidetsugo here to draw a card. I don't know if we have a way to get rid of this enchantment. So I think we just have to do that. They double top, so I think we are pretty much well and truly done in this game, but... Oh well... They'll make a 1-1. One, one. We'll play Synthesizer. Find Anvil. Sacrifice Synthesizer. Get the 1-1, one, one, drain them. Find Smelter. Play the land. And then we can sacrifice this 1-1, one, one, but then we don't have any more artifacts to sacrifice to Anvil next turn. don't think we want to do that. So let's hit them for two while we still can. Then we can pass. And now they got a 4-4 flying trample. Tamiyo's completion. Okay, so let's just... I guess we'll sacrifice that now, then. Okay. I'm gonna burn that mana, but whatever. It doesn't matter. <clears throat> They're gonna make two 1-1s one at the end of every turn now.
And mill us for two every turn, I guess? Good. Oh, look at that! <laughs> Would have been double lands. Okay. Um, not really seeing a way out of this predicament, unfortunately. I mean, we have no attacks. Can't even do that. So. Go ahead. This does provide at least somewhat of a blocker right now, as long as they don't get rid of it. Speak of the devil. We'll draw another land. Take five. Oh, we can block this one. Let's do that. I mean, we're just going to get overwhelmed by 1-1s one and stuff. We have to hope we find more anvils here. I mean, they're also just going to mill us out. So we need, like, the double anvil. Oh, look, two more lands. Um, we'll just do that. I think we have to find double anvil here. And that's about our only way out of this. So we this isn't doing anything. Um... We can go to combat. Decline, decline. We'll attack here. Gain some life. And then we could also sacrifice it. Um, try to find those anvils. But we couldn't even play them this turn. So I don't think we will. We just gotta hope they don't get milled from this thing. So we'll end the turn now. Oh boy. I get to play that stupid thing again. We've dealt with like five of these this game. Alright. Go ahead and block. Pass to damage. Okay. Okay. Ooh, they can't actually pay this time. My turn. Oh, we need the anvils like right now. So let's try to find them. I think that's our only way to even remotely try to win this game. Lethal exploit. No creatures are currently modified, so we can kill basically nothing. I mean, maybe. But we're, we're going to get milled out here, too. Well, that does something. So let's put it on this one. And then I think we have to kill the, the shrine that's going to mill us. And then no attacks. We have two more anvils in this deck. And they're in our bottom six cards. Spirited Companion. Searchlight Companion. They might just die to their flyers at this point. Again, no anvil. One, two, three. Oh, 
Well, there it is. Finally. <clears throat> so we will start this drain process as much as we can right now. One, two, three. And then we're going to have to kill one of these sky swimmers because we have a modified creature at this point. So we can minus three, minus three. Okay, so now we take six, seven, uh, we're dead next turn? Yeah. So we had like 15 chances to find another anvil or two, and then they were in the bottom five cards of our deck, so didn't really do it for us. Yeah, we just lost to Flyers here. This deck was pretty sweet, you know? I mean, it was, it was one of my favorite decks to play this format so far. Um, deserved better than a 2-3. So, sorry that's all you got to see out of it, but here we are. I'm sure we'll end it with a top deck of a land and then call it a day. And there's the other one. I mean, we got close. Again, if these cards were, like three or four cards higher in the deck, we would have been fine. But we couldn't really get there. I mean, yeah, there's there's no way we're just going to die to all these. We can do this. Drain them for one more. But, I mean, what else are we doing here? So... Another land. Draw our last card, and it's a papercraft decoy. So, couldn't quite get there. I think we had the tools too. And our decks just do not like cooperating these past couple days. Gone ahead and like lit 5,000 gems on fire <laughs> in these last few days with a combined record of 2 and 9. But we will turn that around because this is how you should build a blue black deck, or a red black deck. This one went over pretty well. Uh, find those anvils and make sure you keep sacrificing and get that value off of it. Don't forget to stick around to the end of the video to toggle through our Neon Dynasty trophy playlist or to find yesterday's unexciting O3 video in case you missed it. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you tomorrow for your daily draft.